The most recent test on United's Concourse B started off a little shaky. That was to be expected. By the time the day was over and some electrical problems were temporarily solved, it went fairly smoothly. But there are more than just a couple of problems. I think like any airport I've ever opened, and I've opened a number of them, opening day and a few days thereafter are going to be somewhat traumatic for everybody for a lot of reasons. Gene DeFonso says workers need to get used to the machines, and machines need to get used to the workers. Then he says things will settle down. But original plans called for two months of testing the baggage system and training workers. The whole system isn't even finished yet, let alone completely tested. So here's one backup plan if it doesn't work opening day. Carts would be used, the same way baggage is transferred from planes to the terminal at Stapleton. That wouldn't be too much trouble from the A concourse, it's a short distance to the terminal. But from the B concourse, it's about a half mile. And from C, at least three quarters of a mile. Those distances could cause delays. Washington Park Travel, this is Ellis. Travel agents at Washington Park Travel are telling customers to take their luggage with them on the plane as much as airlines will permit. If you have to check bags... Don't put valuables in your bags. You never should, um, but especially, I would say, you know, no prescriptions, no jewelry, no cameras, anything that's of value that you can't really replace. Sherry Teeter says if you're traveling around opening day at DIA, patience, a positive attitude, and a smile will help. Ron Mitchell, 9 News.